Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to install and use Photoshop Actions. So this is the photo that I'm going to use today, um, and first I'm going to start by showing you how to install your actions. Now this method that I'm going to show you will work on Photoshop CS, Photoshop CC, and Photoshop Elements 11 and up. If you're in Photoshop Elements 10 or below, I have a different video um, on my site that you can watch instead, and I'll post a link to that. Um, okay, so first things first, you are going to go to Window, Actions, and this will pop up your Actions panel. Um, now what an action is, is it's basically a recorded, a recorded list of steps that you are going to play on your photo. Um, and it's basically like a recorded edit. So once you hit play, the Photoshop action will run all of these different steps to create a specific effect. So I'll show you in just a second what that means. So once your actions panel is open, you're gonna hit this top right hand button um, with the downward facing arrow and the four horizontal lines. If you click that, um, you'll see this flyout menu and you're gonna choose load actions. So once you're in here, you're going to navigate to wherever it is that you saved your actions. Um, I'm going to install the Light Travels collection today, so mine's already pulled up, but you can navigate through here and find the one that you want to install. Once you have it chosen, just click it and hit load. What this does is it pulls it up right here. Um, now first things first, if your action um, folder is closed, it will look like this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just make sure that this arrow right here to the left of the title is facing down. If it's facing down, all of the actions within will be visible. So what you can do is choose one of the effects within and hit the play button at the bottom of your layers panel, or at the bottom of your actions panel, I'm sorry. And what this does is it plays the action. Now this action is um, a golden orb light um, flare, basically. So this one is different than a usual action. So with this one, you're gonna grab the move tool and you're gonna place it wherever you want it in your photo. Um, now this is not how all Photoshop actions are. This is just that one specific effect. So I can show you in here, I have a ton of actions. So I'm just gonna find the one I want. Uh, I'm gonna show you one fell swoop. Um, and so in this one, there's several different types of actions. Um, I'm gonna show you a paint on action. And this one is, um, paint on actions are basically an action that you play, but you don't notice the changes on your photo right away because it's hidden. So what you're gonna do is grab a brush and then paint it selectively onto your photo wherever you want that adjustment to apply. So I'm going to use Deep Darken and I'm gonna hit play. And now again, see it didn't make any changes to the photo yet because the layer mask here is black. So basically that's like the window to that action is closed. You can't see it on your photo, it's closed off. So to make this adjustment show up on your photo, you're gonna grab a brush and you are going to have your color set to white. Since your mask is black, you wanna paint with white. So once you have that done, I'm going to make my brush a little bigger here. Um, and I did that just by holding the right bracket key on my keyboard. And then you can paint this adjustment into your photo wherever you want that darkness to apply. So here I'm just going a little crazy with it, that's at 50%. You can lower your opacity. Um, I hit the two on my keyboard to push it down to 20%. And so here you can paint this darkness um, into your photo using a white brush. So that's how you apply that action. The next kind of action is one that just runs on your photo and shows the full effect and you don't really have to make um, any paint on adjustments. So for that, I will run um, let me find one in here. I'm gonna run Boathouse. So once you choose that effect, just hit play. And now, granted, these titles don't really tell you what the action does. So you might wanna hit play on a couple of them. Just hit play and then see if you like the effect. And if you do, you can keep it. And if you don't, you can always delete it. So this one's gonna run. It takes a little bit because it's got a few steps in there. But as you can see, it's made the adjustment on your photo. So here, um, what you can do is this action here is, it shows you that it's at 65% opacity. So what this means is that it's turned down to 65%. This is at 100, and you can turn all of these down as much or as little as you want. And then if you decide that you don't like this effect, you can actually delete it. So um, the next one I'll show you is a little bit more colorful. I'll play Cotton Candy Matte and hit play on that one. And you'll see that it runs several effects. 
and adds them to your photo. So another way that you can use actions once they've been played, if you like the effect, is since the mask is white, you can then grab a black brush and you can do the opposite. You can paint these off of a certain spot. So let's say you don't want it on your subjects, but you like it everywhere else. You can come in here with that black brush and paint the effect off of them. So that way it applies to everything else in the photo, just not them. Okay. And as you can see, we've added several effects here. So actions are stackable. You can have more than one uh, run on your photo at a time. So here I'm going to turn cotton candy mat down quite a bit. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to run another paint on action to brighten them up a little bit. So I'm going to use subtle brighten and hit play. And this one will show up just like, just like Deep Darken. It'll have the black mask. So you're going to grab a white brush and then you can paint this onto your photo wherever you want to brighten. So I'm just brightening right over them. Okay. And then I can run another one. I'm going to run pop painting. And this one basically allows you to paint in some contrast into your photo. So I'm going to do that now. Just paint over them. And then anywhere else in the photo, I want to add a little contrast too. So, and then um, as you go, you can always go back to past actions, the ones that you've previously ran, and you can adjust the opacity later as well. So you can turn this back up if you want more, um, or turn it down if you want less. Um, there's that. And so I'm going to hold down my Alt key. You can hold down Option if you're on a Mac, and click the little eyeball icon on the background layer, and turn that on and off. So you can see this is the before before we added any actions, and this is after we applied all of those different ones. Um, now this one is a little bit more colorful than my usual edit, but um, actions are so versatile, there's so many options. You can pick and choose the ones you like, add them, adjust them, and tweak them to make them your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography.